A very good evening. I am Dr. Shuddha Shatto Sen, Senior Consultant and Head of the Department, Department of Gastrointestinal Hepatobiliary Pancreatic Surgery and Onco Surgery, AMRI Dhakuria Hospitals, Senior Consultant, Doshok Nursing Home and KDKO Center. So what I am going to discuss today is about COVID-19. We have all been uh, discussing only COVID-19 since probably February or March. We all know what is COVID-19. It is a novel coronavirus, which is an atypical form, a mutated strain, which is causing havoc and wreck across the world. So just to give a short idea about what is COVID, it is an atypical coronavirus, as I had said. It's an RNA virus, which infects the humans and it has actually entered through the mucosal surface. Previously, it was thought it was more of the respiratory tract symptoms. Nowadays, it is also having GI symptoms, neurological manifestations. So what are the common symptoms would be a stuffy nose, there would be cough, there would be high fever, there can be malaise, there can be loss of taste, loss of sensation uh, in the nose, that is, uh, you would have anosmia. There can be diarrhea, abdominal cramps. In severe cases, there can be severe breathlessness. You may need admission to an ICU, to a ventilator, with some patients unfortunately also dying due to either a cytokine storm which is an excessive immune response or due to a very low immune response. So immunity per se is protective but not completely and we don't even know whether the patients who are infected and are recovered from the infection would actually have the immunity lasting enough. There are various studies that are going on and looking at various aspects of the COVID as of now. Few studies have mentioned that PPI uh, recently had come up that can increase the mortality in COVID. There are studies which have suggested uh, prophylactic roles of hydroquinone. There have been studies which have refused them. There have been various studies on various things and till date, the protocols are ever changing. So basically, uh, the most important part is to have a universal precaution and protection. How would you do that? It's by a physical distance of at least three feet to six feet from the other people. Always wear a mask, specifically an N95. N99 or at least a triple layer surgical mask. Sometimes you may use cotton or any sort of cloth that would may not actually prevent infection from the outside, but actually would do a benefit of preventing the infection in case you are infected. So we all have a responsibility to wear these things uh, along with the distance. Keep washing your hands with sanitizers, 70% alcohol based or with soap water, have enough foam and lather on the hands and then wash it for at least 20-30 seconds so that the crevasses don't have the virus. The viruses are usually broken down by the uh, soap. So these are the precautions that you take. You eat healthy, you exercise, you sleep well, keep your mind stress-free so that your immune system is better, take more amount of proteins. So these we all know there have been multiple uh, studies, multiple discussions, media coverages about all these things. So be safe, that is the first and foremost thing. Second, in case you are tested positive by an RT-PCR or a TrueNAT or something, you come out to be COVID positive, do not worry at the same time. Take all precautions so as to not infect the other people. Help the uh, government to have four protocols done. That is, you trace the contacts of the COVID patients, you test them, you isolate the positives and you treat them. Now, regarding treatment, there are various medical combinations of medicines. There are uh, oxygen requirement, there are supportive treatment mostly. A few new drugs are also being tried, favipiravir, there is remdesivir. So what is important is trust your doctor. Not all patients would need an admission. The mild to moderate may be managed at home, but provided you can isolate yourself and isolate yourself from the home members, that is the family members as well. But uh, if you are admitted to the hospital, they would be divided into few zones. If you are COVID positive, it may be a mild to moderate. You may be discharged by the hospital if you are severe. Uh, you may be put somewhere between the normal bed and the ICU or may be shifted to the ICU, may have gone to, onto a ventilator also. But do not worry about that because with more and more uh, studies, more and more duration passing, there are better results. The death rates in India are not as high as the Western counterparts and the death rates are declining over the days. Yes, the infectivity rate uh, probably has not changed. The number of cases are emerging more, probably because of more amount of testing, more amount of spread since the lockdowns are partially released. But it is better to be hopeful for the future and we are very sure that uh, with a positive note, if we can maintain all the precautions and then go ahead uh, over the next couple of months, we may even have a vaccine and definitely COVID is going to subside and we are going to do far better than what we are today. So just like to end this on a very positive note, do not be afraid at the same time, do take all the precautions, be safe, stay safe, be healthy. 
spread the awareness don't spread fake news and all the best thank you